What's up, G-Fusion fans? This is Philip, and welcome back to another video. So now, let's talk about Dawn Brothers Episode 10. Now, before I begin, I probably should uh, say that there are going to be some spoilers for Episode 10, so I should uh, remind everyone that you should go watch it first before uh, continuing on with this video. Otherwise, enjoy. So... Episode 10, to put it simply, is where we see Oni Sister transform into her Robotaro form, as well as the rest of the Dawn Brothers. But what you would notice most in this episode is that we have a second Oni Sister. So, how did this happen and who is this second Oni Sister? So, now, before I proceed with the next part, I would like to remind everyone again to watch episode 10 first before continuing on with this video. So anyways, so it starts uh, earlier on in this episode when Haruka confronts Kaito about being, you know, Zenkaiser Black or Zenkaiser Black rather. So uh, he so he and Haruka talk and uh, he basically what happens next is that uh, Haruka gets to see the Kibi points. So I have mentioned the Kibi points before, uh, link down in the description. So uh, basically, the Kibi points uh, actually appear back in episode 6. However, uh, Tsuyoshi, aka uh, Kiji brother, does not know about them, but he, he uses them at least without his own knowledge. And, of course, we see Kaito is the one managing them. So, apparently, Haruka has uh, gathered enough Kibi points, more than anyone, actually. She has the highest number of Kibi points. I wasn't able to count how many she has at the moment. But she decides to use them. So, what happens is, Haruka actually gets her old life back, right? So, uh, her manga is a hit again, so that plagiarism case against her, so it completely disappeared, so she uh, has the respect of her classmates again, and she is, uh, of course, dating her mama's boy boyfriend uh, once again. However, this came at a cost. So, uh, I guess a side effect of that is uh, Haruka became quite clumsy, uh, but the biggest cost of that is that another person basically, you know, received the misfortune that Haruka had. And this person is Marina Maeda, our second Oni sister. So, just like uh, Haruka, so she is quite, uh, she is aspiring to be a professional in her own field, which is photography. However, her work was actually considered as a plagiarism or was considered plagiarized, similar to how Hatsukoi Hiro was with Haruka. So it turns out, so she, Haruka transferred all that misfortune into another person. And thus, uh, Marina is now fighting as Oni sister to take back that old life she had, right? So she's basically doing the same thing as Haruka. So there are uh, a lot of differences between them and very, very clear. So as Oni sister, so Marina is quite an expert in uh, long-range attacks, so she makes use of her Dawn Blaster to attack. So, unlike uh, Haruka, who kind of prefers a bit more close range. And if you would notice, so uh, Haruka has, you know, kind of tricky movements. Uh, she is described as a tricky fighter, quote-unquote. Uh, she uses some acrobatics and... Again, fast movements. 
Although technically Ino Brother is the fastest in in the team, but again she's very very technical so to speak, and uh, Marina as Oni sister fights a lot more gracefully, and again uh, she makes use of that Dawn Blaster. So she also knows about the other uh, Dawn Brothers actually. Now as of this episode. Haruka does know Don Momotaro, right? So she knows Taro. She knows uh, Shinichi is uh, Saru brother. However, she has no idea who uh, Inu brother and Kiji brother are. Although it, she technically has met them before, but she doesn't know of their alter egos. Apparently, Marina knows all of them and they are a more coherent team compared to when Haruka was in the Don Brothers team. So that is an interesting point. Now, personality-wise, so uh, we see Haruka as this uh, kind of energetic girl with uh, quite a strong personality. And Marina, on the other hand, has uh, actually a more calm demeanor. However, with that said... She's also quite vulnerable, as evidenced in one scene. So Haruka and uh, Marina were uh, kind of hanging out in a restaurant. When Marina saw the picture that uh, won the photography prize for whatever contest she was trying to enter, and, you know, basically the work that was considered plagiarized by her. Again, similar to how... Uh, Haruka's uh, manga uh, was right. So when Marina saw that picture, she took the knife from the ta- she took a knife from the table and stabbed it. So while we see uh, Haruka as this type of person who's not bothered by uh, her, you know, misfortune. So sure, she is fighting as a uh, part of the Don Brothers to take her life back, but. She still goes to school. She still uh, kind of uh, knows her her people, or at least she's not experiencing, you know, severe bullying. But every at at worst, everybody just calls her plagiarist, and uh, you know, basically, it at least it's not getting any worse. However, for Marina, since her uh, since she was called a plagiarist, she basically quit photography and had that kind of trauma. Again, when she saw that photo that basically took away her prize, right? Or at least that's what uh, she thinks happened. So that scene where she stabbed the photo uh, shows us how uh, different Haruka and the uh, Marina are when it comes to handling their misfortunes. So, uh, actually, upon seeing uh, uh, Marina, right? So, even in battle, so when she is struck by trauma, so uh, obviously, uh, so uh, she became she becomes quite anxious that her hands start shaking and she stops, right? So this actually prompts. Uh, Haruka to get back into action and become Oni's sister. So how does that happen? So she goes back to Kaito and tells him to reverse the wish. Now, what happened a few scenes earlier is that uh, actually uh, we see Don Brack Cafe. So of course, uh, we... We know that Haruka has been working as a waitress at the Donbura Cafe ever since she stopped uh, writing or ever since she was called you know, a plagiarist. So while she is trying to write an original manga, she's, try- she's trying her best to draw, right? So while well, she still hasn't uh, figured out how to become successful on her own once again, so she works part-time as a waitress at the Donbra Cafe. So with this new scenario, right, so now that Haruka's life is 
uh, quote unquote back to normal. So it is also uh, Marina who takes that position as a waitress at the Donbra Cafe. However, when Haruka tries to talk to Kaito, Kaito appears to not remember her. But uh, if you notice, so. If you notice in this episode, Haruka actually retains her memories as part of the Dawn Brothers. So she knows Taro. She knows Shinichi. She also remembers that, of course, uh, Kaito is Zenkaiser Black. So let's uh, move forward to when Haruka decides to go back into action and, you know, uh, has her wish reversed. So... It turns out that Kaito also is able to keep his memories and thus agrees to reverse Haruka's wish. Therefore, uh, Haruka is back in action as Oni's sister and now uh, Marina's life is back to normal. And at the end of the episode, uh, Haruka is still the plagiarist, but in but in exchange so uh marina actually wins the award as you know for best photo so what uh, so i actually made a research of you know who played uh marina maeda so the actress is named hiyori katada i Tried to find her on Twitter, but she doesn't have an account. But she does have an Instagram. Uh, I I got curious because she was such an amazing actress. And what's also, you know, very, very interesting about today's episode is that we do see this uh, different scenario with a different uh, ranger, right? So a different Oni sister. And... Marina does not appear for just one scene. She is an important character for this episode, despite being, you know, more or less a guest. So, actually, on the Dawn Brothers website, so there is something written about uh, the actress, so Hiyori Katada. So, she actually auditioned for the show. So, there could have been a possibility that she could have been uh, Haruka. Kito. However, it turns out that uh, Kohakushida had uh, won over her. So, I guess uh, the you know the casting uh, director was still quite impressed with uh, Hiyori's acting during the auditions. That uh, he eventually uh, got her to at least play a role in the show, and not only that. So, we could have potentially seen how she would have played uh, Haruka. Or, I guess, uh, Haruka was already planned to be this, again, like, energetic girl who can be quite obnoxious at times. But still, uh, Hiyori's acting for this episode is very, very impressive. And I really hope that she could appear again in the show... Uh, even if uh, she doesn't transform into Oni's sister again, and she transforms in the show twice. She's not a one, you know, she doesn't transform once and it's over. Like, they really made use of her. So, uh, I really like this episode for Dawn Brothers today. I uh, I don't know. Uh, if I had my favorite episodes of Dawn Brothers, so this could be among the top five uh, or uh, for now. So, like, I- I'm gonna say, right, uh, this this video probably isn't over yet, but I'm giving Dawn Brothers uh, episode 10 a 5 out of 5 just because how amazing this guest character was. So, their chemistry uh, or... Her chemistry with Kohaku Shida, so actually is amazing. So we see two different Oni sisters. Although the suit actress for Oni Sister 2, by the way, 
So this uh, Marina version of o- Oni Sister is still played by uh, Ayumi Shimozono. So the suit actress is the same. So she just has different movements for both of them. So also amazing work on uh, Ayumi Shimozono's end for being able to uh, express two different characters in action. So basing on their personality. So again, uh, like Haruka's energetic personality also translates into her fighting style and as so just just like uh, Marina's calmer demeanor also shows more grace in her fighting style so again props to uh, Ayumi Shimozono for doing the uh, doing a wonderful job as well so yeah uh, who knows if uh, you know we get other episodes where other characters turn into uh, Zenkai, oh, Zenkai, sorry, like turn into Dawn Brothers. But even if this one episode is the only episode that uh, it uses this, the last time I uh, see, uh, the last time I remember like another person transformed into another ranger was probably back in Gokaiger when. Uh, coincidentally, so another yellow, so Gokai yellow, uh, lends her Gokai, uh, you know, so she lends her mobile rates in Ranger Key to a little girl who uh, transforms into Gokai yellow for one scene, but again, that's it. So I'm really amazed how they utilized a guest character to, uh, as far of an extent as possible, again, uh, giving her important screen time, showing that this character is important, at least for this episode. So, very nice job for uh, Dawn Brothers here. So, of course, this is not the only part of uh, Dawn Brothers. So, yeah, uh, I guess uh, at least I didn't spoil the whole episode. But, yeah, basically the main plot anyways and there is a side plot, but uh, it also picks up from last time. So uh, if you want to see that, so make sure you check out Don Brothers episode 10 once it's out. So anyways, thank you so much for watching. And if you enjoyed this video, please do leave a like, comment, share this video, subscribe. And don't forget that notification bell so you get the latest from GE Fusion. I'm going to link uh, some... I'm going to leave links down in the description so you guys can check out other stuff. And uh, I'm also going to uh, link... (laughs) I'm going to leave a link down in the description so you guys can uh, check out who... uh, Yeah, who the actress is. So, uh, Hiyori (laughs) Katada. So, go check her out. So, again, links are down in the description. So, anyways, uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.